Hello there! This is DBT and this Art of Runes. And alright, let's continue playing some more Asphalt 8. And today, I will be doing a multiplayer protest of the car that you see on the screen right now. Normally, I would say of the beauty that you see on the screen, but honestly, you know that I don't love this car. And if you don't know why, then don't worry, I will explain it. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing a test of the Lamborghini Huracan Evo Spider because currently there's a car hunt for it so hey let's try to figure out if it's a good or a bad car but before I jump into it if you like my content please hit the like button on this video because when you do that you tell YouTube that these videos are worth recommending to more people and that allows the channel to continue growing and that allows me to continue making these videos for you so go ahead do that for dbt and subscribe because hey why not it's also free but all right so like I just mentioned, this is the current car hunt that is going on at the moment. Uh, it started yesterday or maybe before, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's going on already. There's still five days and some hours to go for it. And as usual, I don't think I need to explain too much about the car hunt. But if you pay $20, which is the premium price for it, you are able to unlock the car right away in the first tier. And in tier 19, I believe that you can still acquire the DSE 10s as we have been able to do for I don't know how long. Later in the in the premium lane, you also get kits for the car. You know how this whole thing works, right? $20, you get the car. That's basically the gist of it. Now, like I said, we're going to be testing it in multiplayer to try to figure out if it's a good or a bad car. Because to be completely honest, I haven't tested it very, very much. Okay, I hope the microphone didn't pick up that horrendous noise my phone was just making. But it's, it's fine. We're fine. It's okay. All right, so... Let's go into multiplayer. We're, of course, going to go into Classic Series, or excuse me, Classic Season, because that is where the most competitive um, races happen. And there is a car in all of its view glory. Let's just leave it at that. Um, yeah, it's a Class S car at the rank of 1860, so it's in the middle of the Class S, you know, the lowest being 1858, 59, the higher being 1861, 62, or 64, but that's a completely different thing. So, all right, here's the stats with the tuning kit and whatnot, and real quick, I'm gonna say this section right here, this whole section right here is what doesn't, what makes me not like this car all that much. We'll talk more about it as we do some races, but yeah, let's find some players. Oh, and before I forget, creator gift link is in the description. That's right, they're back. We finally have again a community manager, and thanks to that, we now also have access to these gifts again, so you can ex expect the content creators to start posting, posting these links again. So there you go, you will be able to get your uh, boosters, your fusion coins, so yay! And if you like that, and you haven't liked the video, you should do it. I think at the very least that deserves the like, if not the subscription to this channel. So go ahead, do it for DBT. I know, I know, I keep on pushing you to do it, but I mean it. It helps the channel to grow, and yeah, you support me in that way. Now, if you would like to support me directly, you could always join the pro membership for access to exclusive videos and all that stuff or whatever. Oh, come on! I'm fine, I'm fine. That's what I get for shilling my subscriptions. <laughs> All right, so what is the deal with the Lamborghini Huracan Evo Spider? Why does DBT not like it? What does DBT has against this absolute unit of a car? I don't know if it's an absolute unit. In fact, I don't even know if it's a good car or not in this game. I just played so, so, so very little with it because I just don't like it. Of course, I own it because I have been collecting Lambos for a long time and this was at the time when I was still, you know, getting every single Lambo. I said that because you know that nowadays I skipped one Lambo because I wasn't going to pay $150 for it. Um, and here's hoping that someday the Lamborghini Huracan STO will come back, but either way. So the point is that I got it for, oh, you mother lover, for the collection. Come on, come on, tell me that I at least beat him. Did I at least beat him? I hope I did. I don't know, it's, I don't know that he was trying to knock me down. It just seems that he lost control of his car somehow. I don't know what, what just happened there, but, woo, I did beat him. All right, good enough for me. All right, I got the feel by just about everyone, so... Maybe this car's pretty, pretty bad. It has nothing to do with me crashing or... Hey, can I get... Oh, look at that. No points gained, no points lost. That's good enough for me. Okay, so as I was saying, I've barely played with this car, so I don't I don't really know how it performs. I was testing it, testing it, more like warming up with it, uh, before I started recording this video. I was doing some master race. Some ma... That sounds so bad. <laughs> some master season races. Jesus, and, and the way, the order in which I said it, and then the, the 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 fact that I used singular race as opposed to races, because I was talking about races, well, I mean, whatever. Uh, so anyway, I was doing some master season races with this car, and one thing that I did notice is that the triple tap nitro is, oh, you, oh God, oh, somehow I survived that. Um, 
What was I saying? Oh yeah, that the triple tap is actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Now, I didn't have any point of reference as to think, oh, it's gonna be terrible because I've seen it. No, no, no. But I don't know, we're just expecting it to be pretty bad, but actually it's not that bad. Right now I'm running with all triple tap just for the sake of trying to prove a point. Again, it's not amazing already. Oh, what is wrong with people today? Do they, know, do they not know how to drive or what's going on? Jesus. Normally, okay, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna leave it at that. It's, it's fine, it's fine, whatever. I'm telling you, driving this car is bad luck. That's what happens when you drive this horrible Lambo. Yes, I've said it, it's a horrible looking Lambo. All right, right. It's not horrible, but here goes DBT for like the seventh time in this channel explaining why he doesn't like this car. I don't like this car because of the way that it looks. And also I don't like it because of how it's spammed. Oh, I did still a fifth place, let's go. How it's spammed this car is in Asphalt 9, excuse me, Asphalt Legends Unite, but that's a different topic. Um, for now, um, fifth place, despite someone pushing me to the other side of the track. Thank you, very appreciated. Um, but hey, I did beat at 300 plus, so that counts for something, right? I think so. All right, good enough. Let's get to the next race. All right, all right. So, remember how at the start of the video, I showed you that section of the car that I don't like? That is the main reason why I don't like this car. I'm not too much into convertible cars. I like more coupe cars rather than convertibles or even roadsters though roadsters i don't mind too much so the thing is convertibles um in order to be convertible you know that it can go from no roof to having some sort of roof um and for example in this particular case what it has it has a soft roof and it's uh, mechanized so that it can deploy it right in doing so it needs the space where that soft roof is stored and all the mechanical parts in order to deploy it and all of that stuff that changes the shape of whoa whoa oh come on man i'm just having the absolute worst luck today what is happening i don't even think i don't think it's even skill issue right now i i i like i said i did some warm-up before and all that i'm just having the worst luck with people pushing me around oh man um but yeah i was saying that 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 is space that is needed to accommodate the the me mechanical parts to to for the convertibleness of the car changes the shape of the rear side of the car of the engine cover in particular it looks kind of weird i don't love it i think it looks kind of ugly um that's why i said that for example roadsters that are not convertible they just don't have a roof they do still have a more normal looking engine cover for lambo so they look all right but this one in particular, with this whole section right here, I just don't like it. It looks weird, out of place, too flat. I don't like it. So, yeah, I know, I know. It's a really silly thing to not like about a car, but that's why I don't like it, visually speaking. Man, what is happening? I'm telling you, uh, this car is not that bad. Now, I do kind of dislike the car, but I'm not going to lie here and say, oh, this is a terrible car. I'm just having terrible luck over here. I did say that I wanted to do classic series because this is where the competitiveness lies, but... You know, I didn't mean for people to be pushing everyone into the wrong routes or whatever. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything is okay. Um, probably once I change the color, it'll be better. <laughs> Speaking of colors, the original color of this car, it's eye-searingly bright green. It's horrible. In this game in particular. Like I said, I know this car from Asphalt 9, now known as Asphalt Legends Unite. And yeah, it is in green. The, the main color or the base color is green. But for some reason, the green as it is depicted in this game looks insanely bright. It looks super weird. I don't like it. Um, I remember the first time that I did a thumbnail with this card. I had it originally in green. I legit had to edit the thumbnail to make the car be, I think I put it in orange or something like that. I don't remember it's a, it was a thumbnail in um, DB Terra 9. But anyway, uh, so... Yeah, it's a really weird color. I'll show it to you, but man, it's, I just don't like it. That's why I switched it right away to something else. Because I mean, a horrible looking car plus a horrible looking color, that's not great. All right, I got a second place. Now, this race made a bit more sense, what I was expecting to get in this. Um, you know, not people pushing me, but hey, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, defeated by a Centenario. Hmm. Another Lambo that I don't love, but it's still much better looking than the Hurricane. Just saying. A couple of Faradays, the Two Shake, Faraday, Two Shake. Wow. Two Two Shakes. Why are there. Apex and Apex is now. Oh, there was a set with this car, wasn't there? I think so. Anyway, how about we test this car to see how good or bad it drifts? I mean, here it is in white. It has its eight color options. There's some other colors, nice looking colors. And then you go to, oh my God, my eyes. Yeah, this is terrible. Oh, and it has a livery, by the way, which looks kind of dope. But I wouldn't even consider buying it if it didn't cost vouchers, honestly. Spiral drug test, let's do this. Oh, Jesus. 
Now, I actually entered the wrong version of the track, but it doesn't matter. It still has the sparrow, so it works. But yeah, I went into roof, rooftop race, whatever it's called. All right, that, that wasn't terrible. All right. Now, this is the correct version of the track. So, all right, let's try it again. I'll try to go a little bit closer to the wall this time. All right, it's a little bit wide, but as you can see, it's, it's definitely usable, so it's not uh, a drift that is going to make you suffer all that much. And of course, the test in the opposite direction, because reason... Oh, look at that, that's an Aston Martin Valkyrie. Man, I still want the Valkyr Valkyrie AMR. I have, I have had no luck in the treasure run, but price or price. Anyway. Yep, all right. As, as I always say, it feels assisted on this direction, but there it is. The drift in both directions, it's usable. Whoa, first try and I got something that I can out accelerate. No problem. Let's go. All right. So here's, yeah, that's as clean as a triple tap, um, time to wall situation is going to go. But let me try again just to make sure that I didn't mess it up. Take two. Let's do this. All right. Please don't get in the way, bike. Goodbye. Yeah. All right. This is as clean as I was going to be able to do it. Um, so there you go. That is the acceleration for this car. And with that out of the way, we can continue doing some multiplayer races to, well, see if it does a little bit better this time. Or if I get better luck with less people pushing me to the wrong side of the track, it's fine. I changed the color because I really don't like it on that green. I, I did want to show it to you in the in the tests, but yeah, that's enough of that color. I really I really don't like it. Um, but all right. So in general, at least when it comes to 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 the to the card looks, yeah, I, I don't like it. When it comes to the performance, it seems like it's a pretty decent car. But as I mentioned earlier, I kind of also dislike this car because in Asphalt 9 um, or Asphalt Legends United nowadays, I promise it will be a short explanation. I know you, some of you guys are completely uninterested on, on Asphalt Legends United, but still. In that game, this car, it's an incredibly, incredibly good car and relatively easy to get. So if one would say, well, why don't you like it? Because you know what that means. It means that it's a spam to hell and back. And that makes it so that you get tired of seeing this car all day, every day. That's the same reason why I dislike the Lamborghini Centenario here in Nashville Day for the longest time. Why I dislike the Faraday when it was super spam. Nowadays, not as spam, but still, you know. So I just hate spam vehicles. I hate seeing them all day, every day. And then in Asphalt 9, they were, since a lot of people use this car, a lot of people were toxic players. So, so you would associate this car with toxic players. And it was, it was just a bad time. So yeah, I don't like how it looks. I never liked its role in Asphalt 9. So overall, when I saw it being added in Asphalt 8, I'm like, really? Really? Of all of the Lambos you could have added, you decided to add this one. Um, all right, I got a fourth place defeated by a Jesco, Tushek, and a Silver Lightning. But I did beat a Faraday, 300 plus, Cian, Nemesis, Tushek, C, and that's the, the, the other players are uh, unboosted or underranked. Holy moly, full lobbies. Okay, never mind. Someone just left. Almost full lobbies over here. 11 players now. Nice. Uh, probably it's going to be a mess. But yeah, I'm, I'm trying to be a little bit objective over here in terms of the car's look. I know it's not a, an actually... <clears throat> excuse me. It's not an actually ugly looking car, all right? I just personally don't like it very much, but it's still a Lambo. It still has very nice shapes and whatnot. Um, in terms of the performance, what I've noticed in this game, it's an okay car. You know, I don't think it's particularly amazing at anything. It's not particularly bad at anything. So it's just another one of middle of the road type of vehicles. And I think that's perfectly fine. Not every car needs to be a king. You don't actually need kings in order to, to, to get good results in multiplayer. And you know how this whole thing goes. So overall, if you're wondering, hey, DBT, enough of the yapping. Would you tell me if this is worth going for? The answer is, if you like it, go for it. If you have the money, go for it. If you don't like it, then don't worry about it. You don't need it. It's not an amazing car, so it's not like, oh, I'm missing out on a king or anything close to that. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. I did want to mention, though, that this car originally was acquired through a um, special event. It was uh, the second Lamborghini special event. The first one was for the quote-unquote king of Lambos, the highest-ranked Lambo in this game, which is the Reventon. And this is going to be what I call a first place event. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Oh, look at that. I beat a Chiron that was right behind me. Now I can see inside of the Chiron. And my car is doing a wall climb because why not? All right, cool. <laughs> uh, all right, Chiron, Vian, Tushek, Trion, Nemesis, Jesco, Trion, Faraday, Chiron, 300 plus. Okay, fair enough. Let's get to the next race and I can continue talking about it. So, 
like I said, it was for the... It, it wasn't a special event. The first special event was for the Lamborghini uh, Reventon. Then the second one was for this one. And this one was actually harder to acquire because the Reventon, so long as you had the normal cards that you normally would acquire by playing the game and collecting lamps and whatnot, you were able to get that card. That's how I got it. But this one was actually locked behind a paywall of either the Conex Jesco Absolute Treasure Rush or a little bit easier was the getting the Lamborghini Diablo GT which you would acquire in the racing pass. Um, actually, I'm gonna link you to the video where I did the breakdown of that whole thing if you're curious to revisit how the, oh, for sakes, man. How the game was um, a year ago uh, when all of this was introduced. It's interesting to revisit it a little bit because you can see how things have changed massively from them to, from then to now. But still, so yeah, this had a bit of a paywall um, in order to acquire it. And a lot of the events, uh, the special events when they were still a thing, did have some sort of a paywall, but so long as you had a big enough garage, you would be able to get through it anyway. The paywall would be hit if uh, you didn't have a huge garage and then you would need a particular car that is featured and being sold and whatnot, right? But yeah, the, the case of this car, honestly, again, it's a Lambo. Of course, I was going to co collect it because it's a Lambo and whatnot, but I was half tempted to be like, nah, I don't care for it. Uh, but then again, like I said, oh God, what just happened? I'm fine, I'm fine, I recovered, it's fine. My car just randomly scat over there, I was just, I just did a tiny drift and was able to get control back, but Jesus, what was that? Um, all right, defeated by a Faraday, Ferrari 40 day pista, wow, this is rare. A Centenario, and I did beat the 300 plus, Batista, Faraday by Yan, Regera, Centenario, and even an absolute look at that. <laughs> the uh, yes, Co absolute killer or something. I don't know. Ooh, we arrived in DB Terra 9. All right, I like DB Terra 9. I may or may not be saying DB Terra 9 a bunch of times to, to make you subconsciously associate DBT with Terra 9 when I say DB Terra 9. Anyway, so uh, in that video where I explained the whole thing of how the special event worked, it's, it's kind of funny that I mentioned it earlier, um, that you don't really need that car. And that's exactly what I said in that other video. At the end, I made this whole section in the video where I was talking about how you don't need a bunch of these cars. Because I saw back then a lot of people having a lot of thoughts and disliking this whole thing of the special events that were very new at that time. Um, and if you don't know what special events are, again, check that video. Because over there I explained how it worked and all of that stuff. But basically, it was a... a if you played Asphalt 9, you know what they're like. Special events and you need a bunch of cars to make progress. If you don't, if you don't have never played Asphalt 9 and you don't know what they are, basically it's one big event uh, with one main car featured, but in order to make progress, you need a lot of other cars to make progress over there. And obviously those were cars that were being sold at the time, or if you, know, if you had been playing or collecting cars, you had them already. So a lot of people were having problems or issues with the whole concept of the special events precisely because it required a lot of cars, and people were getting really, really, really frustrated by it. And once again, I think it's kind of... Kind of funny that I mentioned that you don't need the car because that's exactly what I said in that other video. Like, hey, people, you don't really need this car, all right? So, listen, it's good if you can make progress and whatnot, and if you want the Diablo, and that will allow you to also get this car if you have enough Lambos and whatnot, but you don't really need this car. This is not an amazing car by any means, so don't go crazy for it. Um, and, and like I said, I just mentioned that earlier in this video where you don't really need the kings in this game. Is it good? Is it nice to have the kings in the game? For sure. If you want to have, oh, I have the best car or one of the best cars and whatnot. But in order to have fun in multiplayer, you don't really need kings. Um, look at this. Once again, a very okay card, the, the Hurricane Evil Spider. And I still got a second place. Yeah, it wasn't a first place. But you know, I personally am the type of person who enjoys. Personally, I'm the type of person. Well said, DBT. I'm just the type of individual who enjoys doing the racing as opposed to only getting first place. So that's why, to me, this is not a problem. I don't mind driving a car that isn't amazing. I don't know. I've always said it. I'm just weird in that way where I'm not a hyper-competitive individual where I'm a, oh, I only want to get first places. And I've said it on other occasions as well. That it's fine for you to have that mentality of always wanting to get the first places. But what I'm saying is that, and what I said in that video is that, you don't really need this car, you don't really need the kings in the game, you just need to have some cars to have some fun. Only if you're really into that mentality of I need to get the first place. Oh, I'm so sorry, but I wasn't trying to knock you down. If you're in that mentality of I only want first places, then yeah, sure, go for the kings and whatnot. But other than that, I don't think it's worth stressing over this type of things. And people were really stressing over, oh my god, I can't get this car game with this so bad because oh my god, this is so difficult. So I don't know, just the way that I see it. 
But what can I say? I've been always like that. Where I'm like, yeah, I'll just chill and just enjoy driving my cars even if they're not amazing. And once again, this car is not amazing. This car is not terrible. So to answer the question that I, I asked at the very start of this video, should you go for this car? Meh. Probably you don't need it. Probably you already have something that works equally as good, if not even better than this. But if you really like the car, then sure, go for it. It's $20 though. Now, if you want to get a hard and a pin, you need to leave me the key first, which for today is going to be DBT. My favorite hurricane is... And then insert which is your favorite hurricane. It doesn't need to be a hurricane in this game. Just whatever is your favorite hurricane in all of the hurricanes from Lamborghini. Yeah, let me know in the comments. You get the hard opinion. You know how this works. All right, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Hit like button, all of that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.